What is going on everyone? Mark here. As you can probably tell by the title and the intro of this video, I am going on another little tiny overland camping trip. Um, it's Friday evening, I prepped the night before, and if you're on my- Bear path, left, then after 0.1 miles, turn right. And if you're on right my- Right turn ahead. If you're following my Outback Instagram page, I didn't post my other one. But anyways, I posted a picture of- Turn it. right. Then, after 0.2 miles, turn left. <laughs> I just turned the volume down. Anyways, I posted a picture of the uh, tailgate open and it has all my gear back there. I've actually, um, I haven't really grown too much in gear. I actually I added some lights to the top, which will be nice for camp tonight because the sunset is happening like right now. I uh, got a little delayed today, but luckily I prepped almost everything yesterday. See, so we're gonna be doing some food tonight, tomorrow morning. Tonight, we're gonna keep it simple and do some SpaghettiOs. In the morning, I'm gonna be testing uh, my true outdoor camping skills with cooking eggs. I'm going to be doing all of my cooking with my butane stove by Coleman, and uh, I really wanted to break it in. I've turned it on a few times to make sure it works. Um, and it does, and so I'm ready to really test it out and see how it handles, especially with it being a little bit cooler. Uh, right now, it's 54 degrees out, um, and tonight it's supposed to be about 33 is a low, I think, maybe 34. It's definitely warmer than what it has been earlier this week at night, uh, is what's projected. So, regardless, I've got the little heater in the back. I've had a heater for years. Um, it's just a little indoor space heater. To keep the wattage low on the generator, which some people say that you can, some people say you can run the generator a little bit harder, others say you can't or you shouldn't, and I'm going with the ones that you shouldn't. I'm not overloading the generator because I just do not want to shorten the life of it. I'd like to be able to use it for quite a while and get several years out of it, but, um, you know, of course then again, I mean, it's a Harbor Freight generator. It could die tomorrow for all I know. Um, hopefully not tonight though, because I'd love to be able to use it. <laughs> so uh, I've got that powering the uh, I've got that powering the heater, two floodlights on the sides. Um, I haven't really had time to wire those up, like you know, zip tie the wires down correctly and everything, and make it nice and clean. I uh, just kind of threw it on there, and I'm running with it. But anyways. Uh, Generator's gassed up. I went ahead and did that before I left the house. I already had a mix left over to kind of start it up a little bit, shook up the container, and I've got that put on the roof. It's filled up to the max, and I've got um, the jerry can. I still have some left over, so I went ahead and threw it on the rack as well. And um, anyways, guys, we're rolling out now. Uh, we're taking a different route than last time. Uh, it's GPS is saying this is a better route to get to uh, flat side wilderness and so flat side wilderness is oh, straps flapping I think yep may have to tie that down a little bit better anyways um, flat side wilderness it's actually right around the crystal prong area where I was before and gosh darn it that straps flapping like crazy oh worry about whenever okay got the stop somewhere I think there's a stop up ahead we'll just kind of take it slow It's just the excess strap, you know, how it, uh, like if you don't 
don't tie it down enough. Especially these are really long straps. I, I swear I bought the longest straps. I don't know why. I mean, I'd never use anything this big of, you know, a tie down. I never need anything that big. And of course I bought the, you know, biggest tie downs possible. But uh, we'll just kind of cruise along until we get a little pull off point. I don't want to pull off right on the highway just because uh, this is a pretty dangerous highway. Lots of uh, cars like to treat like a Daytona 500 through here. The speed limit's 60, but uh, that's just suggested. It's almost like you're driving in uh, Houston, Texas, how everyone just hauls butt everywhere they go. Um, but anyways, so we're going up. It's going to be kind of the same area. Uh, the actual, I guess it's a creek, stream. I don't know what you call it. I'm not really good with terminology as far as uh, nature goes. So I guess I could Google that. Uh, but it's called Crystal Prong, and that's just uh, the actual stream, but there's also like a little service road or whatever. There's an area that I went to last time, and it was kind of too grown up and everything for me to be able to get any further, but maybe this time I can uh, get over there a little bit further, and um, this is kind of going at a different angle, I think, so or a different angle to the flat side wilderness, so hopefully we can get over there and camp overnight. If we can't camp there, Maybe we can get around to the crystal prong. Uh, maybe we get around to the crystal prong area and hang out there again. Well, guys, we're actually at the mercy of this person now. Uh, they are going 35 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone. <sighs> well, I guess I'll be there at the campsite next year. Slow down, you don't want to go 35, that's a little too fast. Might need to slow down to 32. Oh man. Well. I said 50 earlier, it's actually it's a 55 mile an hour zone, and this person was going 35, and that was their top speed. Slowest speed was like 30, maybe 28. So, yeah, uh, definitely, you know, definitely don't go that slow on a road that's a highway that's meant for higher speeds. It's probably going to be dark by the time we get there, but, um, so we got another hour drive. It's 429 now, so by 530 it should be basically dark, which kind of sucks. Uh, I had a few setbacks. Uh, it's delayed about 30 minutes because of uh, the house is locked and I don't have a key on me. I just had my uh, garage door opener. And so uh, I actually had to wait for my mom to get home. And uh, that was about 30 minutes. So that, that put me back about 30 more minutes, but you know, it's okay. Uh, still gonna be able to enjoy, you know, some food here a little bit, and probably listen to some audiobooks again, like I did last time. Uh, you know, less bugs this time because it's colder, especially with the temperature dropping. So that'll be nice. I haven't seen literally any bugs out today, so I don't know how the forest is gonna be. I imagine, I ma you know, imagine, it, you know bugs hibernate or die off or whatever just like the rest so you know I don't think they're crazy enough to stay out any longer but just an hour and eight minutes and we'll be there be actually oh we're pushing close to six o'clock really all right we're getting close we are about to hop on a forest road finally
Wow, just look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So, I wanted to get out here in uh, November, but I got super busy, uh, and I also got quarantined, and then and also in October I got quarantined as well. But, um, anyways, I, um, you know, could not get out here because you know, when you're quarantined, you have to stay home and all that. And uh, so, whenever I got out of that, I'd be busy trying to catch up. And so, finally, now I'm like caught up and I can take a weekend for myself to be able to just get out here again and enjoy the, you know, forest. And uh, I'm really, I'm so glad to be able to do this again. You know, I love coming out here, I think it's so much fun. Uh, it's just, you know, it's peaceful. I, I don't know how to describe it any other way. It's just peaceful, you know. Uh, everything, you know, work-related or life, whatever it may be. It's like whenever you get out here and you start driving down the trail and then, uh, you know, you get to your little spot. It's like, you can just relax. Like, you know, nothing, not a care in the world. And I guess since it is getting pretty late, I don't know if I'll be able to get to Crystal Prong because it's like... From the way it looks on the map, I'm actually like all the way, I'm very, very far away from the Crystal Bronx side. So like this is both flat side wilderness, like the big spot, but clear on the other side was a Crystal Prong, that road I took in that Crystal Prong area. So I won't be able to explore over there, I don't think. Um, i really like to get you know, at least somewhere where I could set up camp before sunset, or not before sunset, but I'd like to find somewhere where I could really set up camp before it's too dark. Kind of long twisty road ahead. There's some little areas where I could pull off and camp if I wanted to, but I feel like this is too far early into the trail. I mean, I've got uh, 12 miles of this, so I'd like to I'd like to really get, you know, deeper into the woods, uh, so that way there's not as much traffic. Anyways, let's uh, just keep proceeding and see if we can find a good spot. Oh my gosh, look at that view. That is just, you can't really see it with all these trees, but I mean, at least with it being more of a, you know, late fall, you can see like just, I mean, how beautiful that mountain line is, or mountain range, or whatever you want to call it, the skyline of mountains. Uh, the sun's kind of setting over there. It's just, oh, it's awesome. Well, let's keep on going, and we uh, are kind of approaching the end here soon. We've got 11 miles left, so maybe we'll find something between now and then. Ladies and gentlemen, I may have leave that open. I don't want to get locked out, but that'd be my luck. Ladies and gentlemen, I found probably one of the nicest views. Look at that. Maybe if it was a little more elevation, you'd be able to see a little bit better, but and look at that. It's just wow. I'm gonna get some pictures of this while I'm up here. Maybe get a little selfie or something. I just saw my first Subaru on the trail, it was a little cross track. Um, it's always exciting seeing other Subarus out here. What we may do is head up this scenic whatever view or whatever that is and see uh, what's up there. Right now we're going up, more incline. I haven't switched on X mode at all this whole time. I mean, it's been pretty easy. It's probably the, feels like the steepest incline we've had yet. So, let's just see how it goes. That's not happening. Well, what I may do is if there's not anything else further up to like my, where I'm trying to go, I may uh, just hang out here. Uh, I don't see any reason why not. Uh, so let's just see how it looks. For 7.9 miles.
Dead center. That's perfect, I think. Good enough, at least. One thing I got this idea on is to, uh, oh cool, the bed's actually fingered up. So one idea I had was whenever I wash my dishes and stuff, uh, you know, once it's all dried out and everything, wrap it up with saran wrap so it stays nice and like clean for whenever I go to do uh, my next camping trip. As you see, it's all wrapped up. It is ready to go. This should be the perfect size pan for what we're doing tonight. Got some spaghettios I'm gonna be putting in here tonight. I think we're looking good. I'll let it warm up a little bit more. Um, so back here, really don't have much going on. Just getting that mattress still aired up. Looks like it's about good. See as it's gonna get for tonight at least. And uh, got this plugged in. Um, we're we're looking good. I need to get this gas pulled down and put it over here somewhere and get the generator fired up and get the heater going inside and kill the engine so we're not just burning fuel. Let's go ahead and switch on over to the generator. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and find the power switch. Another little hack of mine, which is nothing new, I imagine, but I took my pillow and I wrapped my blanket around it. That way it kind of keeps the pillow clean, but it also, you know, it's combined together so I don't have to have extra crowded spots. You can already tell I've got a little too much stuff. Probably could have left that knockoff Pelican at the house tonight since I brought my tech bag, which I plan on doing a video of soon. But uh, as of right now, we'll just, uh, just, you know, have to put it off the side somewhere. It won't be a big deal though. Anyways, guys, I think we're about ready to uh, take this thing off the pot. It's definitely been on there for quite a while. It's actually starting to burn a little bit. I need to kick this off, actually. So, that is definitely really, really hot. Um, I don't want to just lay it on the ground anywhere or something like that because that's not good. We got this plugged so I can, still st I can throw stuff back in here. So, I'm going to do that. Well guys, I jinxed myself. I was just about to cut the car over to, or to generator power. And, uh, well, the generator strap or rope, pull start rope, broke. So I went to do one freaking pull. 
and this thing already snaps so looks like I'm without a generator for the night I'm glad I bought that extra warranty for a few bucks at Harbor Freight because now I can uh, I can go ahead and uh, get that replaced but on the downside I filled the entire thing up with gas so I'm a little unhappy with that but I'm just gonna go ahead and eat I'll warm the car up as best as I can and uh, you know just stay warm as best as I can I've got extra layers of clothes so I'm not gonna be too bad but I won't be able to use the lighting like I wanted all right so I did bring some parmesan so that'll make things a little bit better right <laughs> Well, what I'm gonna do now is just work with what I've got here. Let me get this off. I'm gonna work with what I've got here, and uh, you know, luckily I've got battery banks, I can keep my phone charged and everything, but uh, luckily I've got multiple layers of clothes and uh, a good blanket. This blanket actually, I mean, it, it's cheap, it's a cheap Walmart blanket, but seriously, it makes me like burn up when I have it on. So I think I should be fine. Uh, you know, I've got the heat running right now in the car, so that kind of also kind of helps to keep it warm. Other than that, guys, uh, I guess I'll just be kind of relaxing in for the night and, uh, you know, doing nothing. Uh, luckily, this car's got a pretty good heater, so it it keeps uh, the whole thing warm really fast. I mean, uh, it's already feeling uncomfortable to be honest with you. So that's good. And I've got it set at 70, so um, we'll just kind of bunker down. And I've got a I've got a really good treat for me in the morning. Um, that's if everything goes well tonight. Uh, since everything's kind of gone bad so far, uh, hopefully you know. I can eat eggs in the morning. My luck, you know, the, the eggshells are gonna be cracked and there's gonna be yolk everywhere. I mean, I checked them a little while ago, but my luck, if it, the generator's already broken and everything else, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, <laughs> if that happens as well. So um, tomorrow, whenever I get back into town, um, I'm at the drain my. I don't know how I'm going to drain my generator. I mean, I know you could siphon, but I might have to figure out how on that. Anyways, I got to figure out siphoning the generator, and then um, maybe they have a, like a siphon there or something where I could siphon it back into the gas tank. I don't know. Well, I'll set the see, but um, I'm going to take my polo shirt off because uh, I'm not at work anymore. It's the weekend, uh, but I guess you know what? This is a truer car camping experience with no heater uh no generator running so uh you know wish me luck guys hopefully i make it <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and i guess well it's only 6 26 i literally thought it was like 10 o'clock at night it's just that time of the year where time change just throws everything off of course i wouldn't even mind going to bed early right now i'm, I'm like kind of tired to begin with um, it's a pretty busy day at work, um, so, you know, wouldn't hurt to go to bed a little early. Tomorrow I might go up the road a little more. If not, I may just try to get some pictures of where I'm at, just because so you guys can see. Definitely do, like, a little pan around the uh, campsite that I'm at. It's definitely really nice. I saw one truck drive by earlier. Uh, I had the camera off, but I think there's people that are going up further up that way more. There's a lot more people. So this is definitely a good spot to stay for the night. Um, I'm really excited. Um, you know, this is great. I, I enjoy it. Um, definitely one thing I want to remind you guys, if you ever come out really anywhere, I mean, it doesn't matter where you're at, don't litter. I mean, goodness gracious. I saw cigarette butts over here, and it's like, come on now. There's really no need for that. You know, I've got a little plastic bag. I mean, you go to, surely you guys go to Walmart or Dollar General or somewhere, 
you guys can get a plastic bag whenever you check out. And, you know, yeah, that's bad for the environment, you know, getting a plastic bag. I get it. But you're able to reuse that as a trash bag. And if you don't want to use that, there's other options too as well. But still, pick up your trash. Come on now. So, uh, you know, message of the day in this video is pick up your trash. You know, leave no trace. Um, you know, I don't feel like I'm leaving a trace at all, really. I like to leave a little bit cleaner than where I actually found it. So, you know, definitely going to make sure to kind of clean up a little bit around here if I can. And, uh, you know, just try to make the experience better for the next person. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the morning. on everyone uh it's the next morning it's uh 6 25 a.m uh last night it was uh it was a bit chilly it got down to about 39 degrees outside and um it wasn't too bad uh you know the car stayed pretty warm i you know had multiple layers on um i wish i would have had my generator working because then i could have had heat on all night but um what i did is just whenever i get too kind of cold um, I would actually just wake up naturally and I just turned on the car and let the heat run for a little while and you know about 10 to 15 minutes uh, the car would be so hot that you wouldn't even want to sit inside it and so once it got to that point I would turn it off come sit back over here lay down and I'd fall right back asleep and uh, that worked for me, you know, for this time. I wouldn't want to do that every time, but it is a good option if you, uh, you know, all of your resources get cut. Uh, one thing I'll say, when you're camping, it's like you have to pee more for whatever reason. And so I had to pee when I got here, and then I drank one can of Dr. Pepper last night, and I literally had to pee like three times after that. And I'm never like that, and I just thought that was the weirdest thing. But anyways, uh, the sun's starting to rise a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on making some eggs. Um, I'm going to do them scrambled this morning. Uh, that's really the only way I like eggs. So Flatside Wilderness is pretty good. I like that it's actually got kind of um, formed camp areas, like where I'm at right now, where you can actually, you know, there's a fire pit in place and everything. And I think that's pretty nice and everything, but it's just so darn close to the road. And so you know, maybe a hundred feet off this like little road here, this dirt road, and there's not much rough terrain to get to it, so it's pretty simple. Like, you could, uh, I mean, to be honest with you guys, you could probably have a little compact sedan, and you could drive it up here and, uh, you know, get here just fine. It had some, you know, hills and a little bit of rock, but nothing, like, crazy that, you know, you have to have an all-wheel drive vehicle to do so it's definitely an easily passable road um uh, i am going to go up this way a little more because i've seen trucks driving out from up there uh one or two last night and then i've seen like a few this morning come by through that was one of the reasons i woke up and we got another truck coming through here now something good's going on up there so it may drive up on that way once I get done with my eggs and the you know, pan school down and everything so I can put it up in here. Um, but yeah guys, this is, you know, it it wasn't the best, it wasn't as good as last time, but it was pretty darn good. Uh, you know, definitely some hiccups, but so far it's been a pretty good trip. Uh, it's nice being able to see the sunrise a little bit more. I mean, there's still a lot of trees in the way, but you know, because we're in the woods, um, I'm like moving my hand over here, like you guys can see it, but you can't. Uh, it's still like my turn, my camera, I'll show you guys right now. Um, see, I mean, you can see the sunrise right there, and that's really nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on this cooking. So, there's the sunrise some more. A little campfire pit. It's kind of hard to see everything last night because it's so dark, but 
And this is the camp spot, and you can see, like, look how close the road is. And so, you know, when I stay at Crystal Prong, I was, right, I was right off of, like, a little trail, but, I mean, the trail was really deep, and no one had gone that way for a while. Here, I mean, it's like someone hadn't been here too long before me. But anyways, let's get started on cooking eggs. Oh, I want to show you guys this record real quick. So, that's the Harbor Freight Special right there. Let me get this thing to focus. Anyways, the the rope, you know, stripped. I'm gonna put this inside so I can reuse the pull part. And let's do a new rope. Got the pan. So let's get started on cooking. Need a good Dr. Pepper, and some butter, and there's our eggs. Man, everything echoes out here. I'm sure there's gonna be someone that's gonna be complaining about me putting stuff on my car. And the truth is, it's a Subaru Outback. There's nothing fancy about it. It's a, it's a car. Uh, it was the Subaru STI that, like I had before. Oh my gosh, I'd be babying. Uh, I wouldn't even bring it out here. didn't do its job really well because it's uneven and the, the pan like warped because it was cold but it'll be just fine. side but it'll do well guys I'm wrapping up camp here and um, you know it's so early I, I want to head up the road and I want to go see what's out up here and uh, you know see what's going on because there's a lot of people coming up this way I'm just wondering if there's something really nice up there a great view we can get some pictures of so I'm thinking we head up that way, and then after that, we'll probably go ahead and head on back home, and uh, then, you know, wait for the next adventure. We've got the stove cooling down. I mean, it's pretty cold out this morning. It's probably about 40 degrees, maybe now, probably about 39, 40 degrees. So it's, uh, you know, it's not going to take too long, I don't think, for it to cool down, but... And also, I noticed, like, even last night, when I cooked, you know, cooked, I just kind of felt underneath it afterwards, and... You know, it seemed to, uh, you know, it gets warm, but it's not, like, super hot like I expected it to be. Now, I don't know about in the summertime it may stay hot longer or something. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but 
You know, I'd rather just let it sit and cool down until it's completely cool before putting it away and everything, you know, just to be extra safe. But um, next time, if I come out this way, I'm definitely going to make sure I have a lot of water on me just because it'd be nice to do a little campfire and, uh, you know, maybe get friends to come out too and do it. I think that'd be awesome. I like doing these little solo adventures. Uh, it's just nice being able to get away. You know, me, I'm an extrovert. I love being around people, love talking to people, love making new friends. But I really like being out here, being alone. It just lets you sit, kind of clear everything out of your mind, um, and just be able to relax for a few minutes. And so, you know, it's definitely nice having a, a, a forest in your backyard. When I stayed over at that crystal prong area, which is actually on the other side of the, the flat side wilderness, and you can actually take crystal prong, that trail I was like camping off of uh, to get down to here or somewhere through here. Um, you know, it was thicker brush on each side, but it was like when it was nighttime, it was dark. Like, I mean, it was completely dark. Couldn't see anything unless I flicked my light bar on. And uh, here, oh, we got another person coming up through here. Oh. So, Crystal Prong, you know, it was super dark. Here, when I stayed last night, I literally thought, you know, I mean, I knew sunset happened, but I was just like amazed because like the stars and the moon and everything, I mean, it was more clear, I guess. The sky's a little bit more clear than when it was at Crystal Prong, but I mean, this place was lit up, you know, to my eyes. Now to the camera, you couldn't really see, you know, much, but I mean, you could see kind of off in the distance just because of so much uh, light from the moon and stars and everything. Uh, you could hear an occasional airplane fly over, but other than that, you know, it's not too bad. It's pretty quiet. You know, no, nobody disturbs each other out here, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, one thing I recently bought on Amazon, I spent a whopping like twenty, twenty-five dollars. So I bought some boots because I figured if I want to do this camping thing, I need to wear boots and. I never owned a pair of boots in my life before, except for these dress boots, dress up boots that I bought like uh, a couple of months ago, like actually before my first camping trip. I actually wore those because uh, those were more of a boot form, but these are actually like a rain boot with a steel toe in it. Uh, um, it's also kind of used as a work boot too, and uh, I'm not a boot person, I'm not a country guy, I'm a very much a city person. I love, you know, the skyscrapers asphalt concrete but uh, you know to be out here you know wearing uh, like I usually wear vans or converse is not a good idea it's always good to wear some boots and so uh, went ahead and broke down and bought a pair of boots and it was like 25 bucks and they had the five star rating which I'll put a link down below um, I don't have the affiliate thing on Amazon because my you know click-through rates not high enough and so they actually did actually took me out of the uh, out of the thing. Next, let's go ahead and get on up the road. I'm gonna get the cooler put back up on the stove and we'll see what's going on up there where everyone else is going. I mean there's seriously probably about six to ten trucks heading up that way. I don't know we'll see, let's go see. We won't hop out of the car probably too much just in case they are you know trying to hunt. We don't want to get in their way. Let's go ahead and get out and go see it.
side pinnacle. see anything on the, the map for that. Well guys, we finally made it. Um, I'm gonna try to get on top of the car so we can get a really good shot over here. Oh my gosh, is this gorgeous. It's amazing. Well, we'll go a little further. See what's that way. But I wanted to show you guys this before heading out of here because that just looks beautiful. Just another day. Look how beautiful it is back there. Well, we're going a little bit further in. Uh, it's 37 degrees right now. There's some other vehicles here. I'm guessing these guys are hunting probably. Well, that one looks like it had bike racks on it. So I don't know. But we're, uh, we're heading in a little bit more. Uh, that viewpoint was really cool. I uh, didn't even think I'd be able to see that. You know, I figured my luck I wouldn't find it or something or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty cool getting to see that. I'm uh, excited. I'm ready to uh, see if there's anything else because we're getting close. We're about 1.8 miles from where our destination is. That's where they, That's where the map says you know, flat side wilderness is actually at. Now, of course, you know, that's like, you know, if you put in a city, say like Chicago, it's gonna put like a dead center or whatever part of the city, even though you, you know, you may have entered a, you know, the city way before, you know. So, I just wanted to see what, you know, Google Maps and the uh, map system, that I think it's TomTom, Tom, that the Subaru has, I wanted to see what it says exact you know flat side wilderness we we're like one mile away I'm ready to see it we'll be there at 8 o'clock so just a couple minutes all right we're getting close real close let's see so I reached my destination and uh, it's nothing, really. I mean, there's nothing else here. So, we're gonna turn around and head back. out here follow highway 9 state highway 9 for three miles well guys we're back on the highway um, it was a good trip definitely uh, Kind of bummed out over the generator and you know i kind of wish my eggs didn't get burned and stuff like that it was not you know it's kind of a doom trip in a way i guess but uh overall i still feel like i had a pretty good time um you know it was nice getting to see stuff uh, it's beautiful out here i mean i love coming out here i said that like probably about a billion times in this video the, the title of this video should just be beautiful but it's just 
you know, I'm not a country person by any means. I'm absolute 100%. I love the city, but there's nothing like coming out here. It lets you clear your head. It lets you just relax and, you know, not have to worry about anything. And I just, I love that. I think it's great. And so it's nice to be able to just come out here, sit, you know, overnight, take, you know, camp, even if you're kind of cold and your heater doesn't work because your generator died uh, or your generator broke, it's still, um, still fun. So now, oh my gosh, I just realized I'm zoomed in big time, I think. Oh, never mind, I'm not. Okay. Um, anyways, so now I'm heading to the gas station. This is like the closest one. I was going to get some gas before going ahead and heading on back home, but it's definitely been a good trip. Uh, you know, maybe we'll do another one in a few weeks or a month or whatever. And hopefully at that point I have my generator working. On to Highway 10 East. I don't even think this uh, place is open. Yep, they're closed, so can't get gas. That's someone's driveway. Oh, a church. Churches are always After the best. After zero point one miles, you have reached your destination. It is on your right. What do you mean? That's not the gas station back there. Oh, there's no gas station up ahead. You have reached your destination. It is on your right. It says, Welcome to Perry County, the gateway to Washington National Forest. Turn right, Highway 10, onto Highway 10 East. Alright, I gotta take my jacket off. I'm sweating like crazy. I wish I was this warm last night. <sighs> Thanks, Harbor Freight. <laughs> Probably will never get a partnership with Harbor Freight just because of that. <laughs> then again, I wouldn't want to. Well guys, this is the end of the video. Um, if you made it this far, thank you for watching an entire thing. That means a lot. Um, you know, definitely, I want to grow this channel a little bit. Uh, it's still a hobby for me. You know, It's nothing too serious, but it's something, just kind of a fun hobby to have. But, you know, if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment, you know, if you have any suggestions of where to go, if you've been to the Washington National Forest or other forests, you know, different ideas for me to plan out in the future, because I may take one out of state one day. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm always down for something to try something new. Uh, but, you know, definitely leave some comments down below, any suggestions on car camping or camping in general or whatever. Um, definitely love uh, comments. Uh, you know, if you feel like it, please share it. Uh, I'd love to be able to grow an audience and maybe create more content like this. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to, again, like, comment, subscribe, and also share the videos. And hit the bell button so you're notified whenever I upload videos.